In part two of the leave request system, we'll take a look at how an employee uses the leave requests. As you can see, an employee is logged on, and we'll just get to the leave request form by clicking on View and My Leave Requests. And as you can see here, the familiar calendar is on the right, but let's just get right into it and let's click on New. Each request has a name. This is just a quick way of referencing it, and let's give it a quick name here. And you can also add some notes to it that you want to, might, might want to tell your administrator. Okay. And then you decide what days you want. And you just pick on the vacation and you say, well, let's try March 3rd, March 4th and March 7th, because I don't work on the weekends anyways. And as you can see here, they are shown on the calendar as smaller pictures. Note that they're not, uh, they don't fill the day as before, because these are requested days and not actual days. Down here in the list box, you can see them listed as well. And you'll notice on the right here, you have a little asterisk. And that denotes that there are con possible conflicts on that day. And there are several ways to view these conflicts. First of all, you can take a look and say show other conflicts here by clicking this box here. And you'll note the little gray X in the upper right corner. This denotes that there are possible conflicts on each of the days where, where the X occurs. You can possibly get more specifics by clicking on show conflicts. We'll do that right now. And you can see that there's conflicts on this day and Thursday and Friday, but no conflicts on Monday. Now because of Matthew's uh, security access, he can't see what the conflicts are but this X basically tells them that there are conflicts on that day. But he decides to see if he can get it anyway, so we're just going to go ahead and click on Submit. And what this will do is it will take the request and it will submit it to any administrator who has access to his department. And that's it.